My name is Rina Chen. Welcome to my studio. And I also I have to say Happy New Year. Two or two three. Hope you everybody have a very Happy New Year. Today we're going to do is uh, about the paint on the fans. The fans have been uh, used up for all over the world uh, for many, many years. But in Chinese, uh, they like to put them, besides uh, make you cool, they put them on the art too. They like to paint and then make a calligraphy on it. To them, I got to introduce two general fans uh, we have in Chinese. First is the so-called open fan. The open fan is just a, a open up and made with the silk and the paint. So when you paint, you just like to do regular painting. But the, another kind is the so-called folding kind. So when you use, you have to open them up. So this is what we, we call the open fan. So today I'm going to show you sir, about the day. open ones because uh, it requires a lot of special uh, technique. So that's what I'm going to show you today how to paint on the open fan. Of course this fan I have to be trying to uh, flatten it up a little bit so make it a little easy for me to paint. But still, you know, the fan is not uh, leveled. They still have to rip behind the knees. So you have to know how to uh, write down those uh, uh, ribs and to paint. And the second consideration is uh, this is uh, half a circle. So when you paint, uh, you, your brush you have to level, level your ground. You just go like this, this, and then instead of follow the circle, they go like this, this, then the everything look going to be fell down or off the ground. So that's a very important uh, technique. Yeah, you have to con take consideration. Of course, the other technique, uh, when I paint, uh, then we go along. So first I start uh, uh, doing the sketch with the landscaping. The other one may be harder, that's, uh, but they're going to show you uh, how to, how to level those things, how to do all the tricks. So that's a technique I'm gonna show you. Start with the mega sketch. Use light ink. And in here you can see I I try to do the rock. And the, the bottom of the mountain, bottom of the hill. In here, I could, you can see me, my, my things, I have to follow the, the level. rocks all have to sit sit up No matter what kind of shape, come to the bottom, have to be leveled. Side down, so I do the other side. 
we get to the whole composition. So that's always this side. Just like a water line. Okay, then you do the for far away. Bobby Mountain. Far away the slopes. Then I use darker ink. Not too dark, just as a go over. We call the rocket line. I use the lighter ink to do the brush stroke to emphasize the shade. Oh, I'm going to do the house.
then I want to do some tree and use medium dark to the trunk. That's so why I leave those an empty space and I can do, do other things. Then use dark ink to the leaves. I use uh, dark ink to the grass. That's all to the decorations on. On those, uh, otherwise they feel so bad, right? They give them dress. Then you can do the wash, use a lightest ink. Just wash over the dark part. Take care of this side. Now I'm going to the other side. I usually start with the, the, the when you do the landscaping, you have uh, things near to you, close to you, uh, near side, the medium, then far away. So I do the medium first, then I do the one closer. Closer with use that bit. Dark. can be used a little bit of dark, darker ink. Maybe we can put the some little rock here too. Then you can do the do the tree. Something I can use a little bit dark.
and they can't show the treaties at all, huh? And something you're stuck in the deck. Grass. Then you have to use the lighting and do the do the brush stroke too. And same thing, we have to, last thing we have to wash, use very light ink. Usually do landscaping, take a, we have to stop them time to time to let them dry or do something. So since I have to do them all together, so we just... So with that, then the last thing I do is the bar way. Okay. The bar way, you use even lighter ink to do the old night. Look like a riding roller coaster. Sometimes you brush something. You you you, you have to follow the the things to try to slip over. Then night in do the do some flowery flowery tree. It's a dotting. and use the light in the today. Far away trip, so we just start.
the same thing, the far away you have to use a, a wash with a very light ink. And when you do the washing, that's very important when you do the far away mountains. And that's the chance you're doing the cloud too. So when you're washing, actually you're doing the cloud. come up so when you wash them in time you're doing the clouds up And you use a uh, very light ink to the water. The time you draw, really draw your water line, huh? We draw the water line. Do this side. So far away. So the, you, usually, when you do just black and white, your color should be darker than this. Since I'm going to add the color, and also the fan, is when you use them, you're very close to you. So it's better not to be make a too heavy color. So that's why everything, I just lighter, a little lighter than should be. The, so this way you add, add the color up so still looks, uh, uh, close looks, make you comfortable. So the black and white part is done. So I'm going to add the color. Now I'm going to start to put the, put the color on. First, I'm going to do the, the, the house. So I use a little bit of remaining color. Uh, to put that put, put the, for the roof. And then uh, for the tree, first thing you have to do is uh, uh, do the trunk. Use the brown color to the trunk. You went further away, you still have to try it. Then use uh, 
uh, blue color, the tree, tree leaves. You went for that way. That's what Chinese said. Always my intention is there. So, just use a little bit. It's broke there. Then for the grass, I use uh, green, dark green, mixed with uh, yellow and the blue, can become dark green. Away. So now come to the rock, the mountain color. So in this way, just go, we go, I go to upside way. I start with the far away first. I go back. So first the, on the top, use a green, stone green. Very light stone green. And the button use a brown color, light, light brown.
they have to grade it into the crowds, then become crowds. Cause this rope. Can get a darker, get a darker green. Top. And then on the rock, and then maybe need a back a slope. They use a brown color, same thing. Then the paper, the color is not easy to get down in. So then on this side, I said, do the same thing. That's a close view. Can be even a little darker. The brown color. So the last thing is we do the now we do the watercolor. Watercolor use water use night blue.
up and you do that on the fan. See the water? So you have to keep watch out and uh, try to fix them. Fan is not only being used to cool down in hot days, we also use it to express art. Uh, some are even framed as a piece of artwork. This is known as the fan culture. I sincerely hope that this fan culture is here to stay as long as other kind of form of art. New Year 2023 just started. I want to express my gratitude to my two students, Mr. Joe Ryder and Mr. Tracy Liu. Together, we made 31 sessions since 2018. And of course, I thank you all of you for your support and encouragement. And I wish you all have a very happy and healthy 2023. Thank you.